What's up everyone, in today's episode we are going to build out our world uh, using the tile palette in Unity and this assumes that you're, you have a 2D game and so let's get started and go to window and then go to 2D tile palette and it's going to bring up this little uh, palette here you can dock this wherever you want, I'm just going to put it over let's say here, this is pretty convenient and it's gonna say create a new palette in the drop down above and so we're gonna click here and we're gonna call this um, let's call this main palette and that should be good and so I want us to create a um, folder for it And it's going to want us to put this palette somewhere, so we're just going to go and create a new folder in our assets folder. And we'll just call this um, palettes. Select folder, and it'll create a palette in your uh, palette folder. So now that we have that, it's asking us to drag a sprite or sprite texture asset and I already went ahead and imported this uh, this sprite sheet filled with a bunch of objects and I'm going to see I have a bunch of these uh, assets here that I found online uh, you probably want to make your own but um for this, I'm just going to use this one I found, and I'm going to slice this all up into 16 by 16, for mine specifically that is. And it looks pretty good, so I'm going to apply that, I'm going to exit out, and I can drag one of these into here. And you're probably going to want to create a new folder for all these tiles, assets. Um, I'm going to put it in the palettes folder just because so it's all in one place. I'm going to call this tiles. And I'll just keep it the same. I'll, I'll create a name for it. I'll call it grass. And there you go. We have our little grass here. And so we still can't do anything yet. So we're going to create a 2D tile map. And it will now allow us to paint on it. So now we can uh, do a little bit of painting here. And now we have this nice grassy area for our character to, character to walk around in. Gonna bump up his speed a little bit. So that's nice and all, but um, there's still a couple things missing. So our character can just walk out of bounds, like so, and just you know be on his merry way. But we don't really want that. So how can we add a little bit of a um, collision to our game? Well, first of all, our character needs a collider, right? So let's give him a 2D collider, a circle collider, 2D, and we'll just make it a little smaller. I'm going to move it down a little bit. That should be good. So, this is the layer that we're painting on, and we can call it the something different other than tile map because we won't really know what it is if it's just called tile map. So we can call this floor, and then we can uh, create a new we can create a new tile map. We'll call this one walls. And we're going to put a wall in, see what uh, wall we have. Alright, so I imported my uh, wall into the palette. 
and we're just going to change the active tile map from floor to walls. Then we're going to paint some walls on here. Alright, so now that we have these walls, um, they still don't do anything yet. So we can go to walls, and we're going to go to... Tile Map Collider 2D. And it's going to automatically create a collider for every um, sprite that you put in, in this layer. So now if we play our game, our character will not be able to move past this wall. Oh, we forgot to uh, freeze his um, rotation. See how he rotated? Now that if we interact with this wall, he's not going to rotate anymore. And he cannot get past this wall. So you want to put these colliders on um, this layer. But let's say uh, I usually will have another layer and call it uh, objects. So I'm going to create another 2D tile map. And call this one objects. And put a collider on here. And then go to my objects. I'm going to import an object. Alright, so you see how my object disappeared? It's because it's um, actually below the layer of the floor. We're well, actually all on the same layer, so we want to separate these layers out. So we see how this one's zero. Let's make this one one. This one two. It should pop back up. Our player game. And now um, this tree trunk here has a collider on it already. I didn't have to do anything. I can just put it on and it's going to have a collider. Alright, with all that information, you can get started on creating your world now. I'm just going to make a quick little level and uh, let's, I'll show you guys what uh, you can do with it. Alright, I just want to share a quick tip with you guys. You can actually just drag the um, asset that you have or your sprite sheet in directly into your palette like that, but um, I'm not going to do it because I already have it there. And it will automatically just import it directly into your tile palette. We have to make sure that it's like, you know, cut properly. And also, the pixel per unit size is going to depend on your actual asset file um, so you see how mine is 16 it's because these little squares are 16 by 16 if uh, I had was using another asset that was utilizing 32 by 32 uh, sprites then I'd have changed I'd have to change it to 32 by 32 so make sure that this number is uh, equal to the size of the actual sprite with all that being said, uh, I'll see you guys in a bit. I'm just going to make a quick little level. Alright, so we have our level now, but there's a couple of things that um, aren't right. So we'll fix um, some other stuff in the future, but there's one that's pretty easy to fix right now. So right now, um, see how our player is like going underneath things like that. Uh, in general, we're going to want our player to be 
above objects. We'll add a script later, but a quick little fix for now is that we're going to add a sorting layer. We'll call this player layer and we are going to assign our GFX from default to player layer. Alright, so for play game now, um, we can, we are now above the objects. I'll just show you guys around a little bit. This little bench there. Got some water off that little corner there. You can go across this bridge. And this waterfall isn't animated yet, but um, in the future I can show you guys how to have animated uh, tiles. There's a log. And the chest, well, we can't really do anything with it. But that's about it, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Alright, I'd like to thank my Patreons, um, Bay, Emerson, Kirijo, Polybius, and Yoan. Um, thank you guys for supporting me. If you want to become a patron, you can go to patreon.com slash devbird. Um, you can also join my Discord, link in the description below. And I'll see you guys in the next video.